Chinese EV makers are going bankrupt. Over a dozen companies have gone under and thousands of brand new EVs are sitting stranded in parking lots all over the country. There's a hidden car crisis going on behind the Great Wall of China, and they don't want you to know about it. Why? Well, because the repercussions of this could very well lead to huge price hikes, supply shortages, and quality control disasters. Soon, you might not be able to buy that shiny new EV that you previously thought was affordable. It's one company that is killing them all. Why is the Chinese EV market collapsing? Will we see the fall of another giant? Stick with us as we take you behind the scenes and tell you all about the EV collapse in just 10 action-packed minutes. We promise not to waste your time. So buckle up. China's EV industry might cease to exist. China, the long frontrunner in the electric vehicle arena, is witnessing a startling shakeup. Traditional automakers and EV startups are grappling for market share amidst plummeting sales and mounting competition. However, Tesla's aggressive pricing strategy, slashing costs by 5% to 15%, has taken a toll on several Chinese competitors. Now companies like VM Motor Holdings Limited, once considered a promising EV startup, teeter on the brink of collapse, a grim indicator of the wider trend. With data indicating that over 50% of registered EV manufacturers in China are now out of business or financially strapped, it's clear that the market's relentless competitiveness is proving a bitter pill for many to swallow. As Tesla and other major players like BYD Company continue to strengthen their grip, we're left to wonder who will survive this tumultuous war of attrition. Once upon a time, the Chinese EV industry was bursting at the seams with 487 manufacturers in 2018. You heard that right. Check it again, 487. A gargantuan figure that makes the world's superpowers seem meager in comparison. However, in an unexpected plot twist, China has moved beyond this abundance, focusing on strategic vision and identifying new energy vehicles as a key sector. One thing to note, China doesn't play around when it comes to strategic vision. They put their money where their mouth is, literally. The government has invested heavily in NEVs, offering a combination of financial support including subsidies, tax breaks, procurement contracts, and other incentives. It's like a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow for EV manufacturers. Now picture this. China, not too long ago, was madly in love with hybrid vehicles. But alas, that flame has flickered out, and the country has turned its amorous gaze towards fully electric cars. It's like dumping your high school sweetheart for a Hollywood star. Crazy, right? But let's not forget the dark side of this love story. It's not all unicorns and rainbows. In 2018, a shocking number of losses started emerging among EV manufacturers. The Chinese auto industry started to shake, and the earth beneath many auto manufacturers' feet began to crumble. One such victim was Letton, a former sales champion that had once conquered 30% of the market. Between 2016 and 2018, Letton sold a whopping 647,000 low-speed electric vehicles LSEVs, in China. And yes, you didn't mishear that. 647,000 vehicles. To give you a little perspective, in 2016, Tesla sold only 76,000 vehicles globally. But as they say, pride comes before a fall. With Latin now filing for bankruptcy, it's a classic example of a king losing his throne. The EV industry, it seems, is a game of high stakes. Letton raised 3.2 billion yuan in November 2022, but less than six months later, the company finds itself in the doldrums. And Letton isn't alone. The list of fallen brands include other big names like Nuitron and Evergrande's Hengchi, each with its own heartbreaking tale of skyrocketing sales only to crash and burn in the end. But wait, there's a silver lining in all of this. Some private companies like Geely and state-owned giants like Chongyang and Didi are signing strategic cooperation agreements, standing strong amidst the turmoil. The strong are indeed teaming up, ready to weather the storm. And here's a fun fact. In China, over a quarter of all cars sold last year were NEVs. Pretty impressive, right? But experts caution that only EV makers with economies of scale and enough financial firepower will remain standing in the years ahead. The sudden shift to electric. China has been a significant player in the EV industry for quite some time now. Since 2001, the government has taken initiatives to invest in EV-related strategies. 
Their strategic vision, implemented in 2010, recognized new energy vehicles as a pivotal sector under their strategic emerging industries umbrella. The focus of support over the years has gravitated towards fully electric cars with various measures put in place, such as generous subsidies, tax breaks, and procurement contracts. Wang Gang, widely considered as the father of China's electric car movement, has been a pivotal figure in China's quest to dominate the global EV market. In an interview with Bloomberg in 2018, he remarked, The development of electric vehicles is significant to the transformation of the global auto industry, as well as the advancement of the energy revolution and improvement of environmental quality. Under Wang Gang's influence, the Chinese government launched numerous initiatives to support the EV industry. They implemented measures such as subsidies for EV manufacturers and consumers, tax breaks, and procurement contracts. Additionally, local governments built out an impressive charging infrastructure to support EVs. However, while his leadership played a significant role in the rise of EVs in China, he wasn't naive about the challenges ahead. In a speech at a forum in Boao, he said that the biggest challenge facing electric cars isn't the technology, it's the business model. Electric cars are the direction of future development, but the journey to that future is going to be a tough one. The arrival of Tesla in China and its aggressive pricing strategy has intensified the competition, causing problems for local manufacturers. In response to Tesla's price cuts, several other EV manufacturers in China, including Xpeng and even BYD, had to lower their vehicle prices. This price war put significant pressure on Chinese EV manufacturers and contributed to many of them going out of business or facing financial difficulties. Despite BYD's impressive sales growth, it struggles with relatively modest profit margins compared to Tesla. In the third quarter of 2019 to 2022, BYD's gross profit margins fluctuated between 13% and 19.4%, significantly lagging behind Tesla's gross profit margins, which ranged from 16.6% to 26.4%. Now, Chinese EV companies are strategically expanding their presence in the Middle East, aiming to leverage the region's expected compound annual growth rate of 5.2% between 2021 and 2026 in the automotive market. This provides ample opportunities for Chinese car manufacturers to enhance their sales and influence in the Middle East. Challenges Faced by Chinese EV Makers The burgeoning electric vehicle industry in China, although showing great promise, faces several key challenges. This include disruptions in capital chains, limited product development funds, and product quality issues, all of which hinder competitiveness and may increase financial losses. A prominent disruption in capital chains is the fluctuating landscape of investment driven by market dynamics and governmental policy changes. Chinese EV companies are highly dependent on external capital to finance their operations. However, uncertainties related to government policies on subsidies and the volatile nature of the EV market have made investors cautious, leading to disruptions in capital chains. Limited funds further complicate matters to Chinese EV manufacturers. While the race to innovate is paramount in this industry, resource constraints can severely impede product development and expansion. This limitation often leads manufacturers to compromise on the quality of their vehicles, which then hurts their competitiveness in the global market. Product quality and competitiveness are critical issues faced by these manufacturers. For instance, Neo Inc., a major Chinese EV manufacturer, has faced substantial criticism over battery safety issues, leading to numerous vehicle recalls. These quality issues, along with fierce competition from both domestic and international rivals, have negatively impacted sales and contributed to increased financial losses. Another poignant example is BYD Company Limited, which had initially established itself in the lower-end market but faced challenges while transitioning to high-end EVs. They faced substantial capital investment requirements to develop advanced technologies and upscale their brand. The launch of their high-end model, Han, while initially promising, failed to meet sales expectations, causing significant financial losses. Issues with vehicle deliveries represent another challenge. Xpeng Motors, another Chinese EV manufacturer, struggled to meet delivery deadlines due to production capacity limitations. Their inability to satisfy growing demand tarnished their reputation, adversely impacting consumer confidence. 
insufficient delivery capacity has been a recurrent problem in the Chinese EV industry, often attributed to inadequate infrastructure, supply chain issues, and production bottlenecks. Overall, while the Chinese EV market has witnessed unprecedented growth, there are formidable challenges that these manufacturers need to overcome. To secure their position in the global EV landscape, it's crucial for these companies to maintain a stable capital chain, ensure high-quality production, improve delivery systems, and effectively transition to high-end models. The coming years will determine how well Chinese EV manufacturers can navigate these obstacles and solidify their standing in the international arena. While all this is happening, giants like Tesla and BYD still continue to push out EVs. We have political agendas, environmental rallies, and entire governments trying to tell us to shift to EVs. It appears as if EVs are forced upon us when you really think about it. Maybe this is a small part of a possibly bigger plan by the government. After all, who wouldn't like an EV which could be turned off by just the press of a button by someone sitting thousands of miles away wanting to track and control your life? The thought is scary if you really think about it, and only time will tell where this mass adoption takes us. This was all for today's video. If you made it this far, we applaud your attention. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more auto updates.